Hello, everybody. We're feeling sweet. So, <clears throat> today, we've got something I'm excited for. So, I was just telling mom, part of not liking spicy things is you just, like, always have a sweet tooth. Yeah. So, yeah. So, <clears throat> we did clickbait. These are not hostess snacks. Oh, <laughs> oops. <laughs> got ya. Ah. They're the dollar store version. What's up, Kayla? We got the dollar store version of hostess snacks. Yeah. I don't know. Well, and some, little like, some of these would be little yeah. Debbie and stuff. Yeah. But, like, those are definitely a, a hostess. And then we got, okay, so let's go over what we got. We got donuts, mini powder donuts. Honey buns. Glazed. Some Swiss rolls. They're even called Swiss rolls on here. They all call them that. I have <clears throat> And then this is what I'm really excited for. Yeah. That she that was, I think, her first grab in the store. <laughs> Anything Oreo, I'm like, mm-hmm. Yeah. So Must Oreo, have. Oreo yeah. brownie. And I got the chocolate cupcakes. We got these knockoff Twinkies. Yeah, well, I don't think that the new owners of, of um, Hostess are making the Twinkies like they should be. So I want to try these and see if yeah. they taste like you the old recipe. You used to like Twinkies. The old Twinkies before they so, sold the company. So I don't really like Twinkies. I haven't had – what's up, Jaden? Um, I haven't had Twinkies in a long time. And last time I had them, I didn't like them. <clears throat> I hope these taste like the old recipe. Yeah. And then we got another thing I'm really excited for. Hershey's, like, Swiss rolls. Whenever she sees Hershey's or Oreo, it usually has her name all over it. And then these are the ones we're kind of afraid of. Raspberry yeah. Twinkies. Think, yeah, it looks like they have coconut or something on them, too. I'm not sure. It's raspberry sugar, I think. Oh, is it? Oh, I thought it Cream had filled a... cakes. Oh. But you like raspberry. Yeah, yeah I, like I do. Rolls. And so, I'm sure they're going to taste like fresh picked raspberries. So... <laughs> Yeah. First things first, though. We have tried all of these. Those three. Because these items are bought at your local Dollar Tree. We love the Dollar Tree. When's Megan <clears throat> next living? <laughs> oh, that's like such a weird sentence. She like, is, right? Here, living. Can't you see her? Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's more fun to come on here sometimes. Yeah, we do yeah. both back and forth. But you're welcome to come in on both or either of the channels. So anyways, we've tried these three. Yeah. So I think we push these to the side for Those a sec. Those seconds. Yeah. And we, um, we bring our specialty items into play. I think I'm going to try this one. <laughs> so hold on, hold on. Oh, oh. I think what we need to do is go in kind of an order here for palate, palate reasons. Okay. Because if we eat the chocolate first, the raspberry is not likely going to be good. Yeah. So, looks like in in heaviness of chocolate, that's how it'll go. Okay, so. There's definitely an order to sweets. I have OCD, so. <laughs> go. Yeah, so I'm really anxious Sorry, actually to try these because I'm hoping that they do taste like, you know, the old. So, I'm going to open these up. I hope they don't taste old. <laughs> Oh, yeah. We didn't even check expiration dates. Oh, I know. Oh, goodness. It's this October 4th? No. Uh, January. Je um, no. That would be September 30th. Isn't that 0101? That would be 09. Oh, there. Yeah, I'm reading the wrong numbers. This is oh, the so same. We got to eat this one 30th. fast. We got to eat this fast. Oh, this one's to the 23rd. What's today? Uh, are these September? Yeah. It's the dollar yeah, store, yeah, right? What is today? Um, What's today? The 27th or the 28th? The 28th. The 28th. We, we definitely didn't get this. And we just bought these yesterday. So. That's what I'm saying. It definitely hasn't been five days since we bought this. No. All right, so this is good till the 23rd. I had a Twinkie with chocolate filling like five minutes ago. See, when there's chocolate involved, I'm game. Yeah. So, so what do you think of the new Twinkie? Like the whole cake and everything is just different since the new company bought it and changed up the recipe. She might be too oh, yeah. young you to have old. tried yeah. Hostess before the change. She, but what's up, Matt? Said you ladies have quite a display of sweets there. Yeah, we're hiding some from you there. Yeah, I got a sweet tooth all the time. So what was the date on this one? Oh, this one is 
October, uh, September 30th. All right, we're good. And this one is, oh, this one's November. Oh, we're good on oh, that, oh, she's happy about that, but that's never going to make it to November, just mm -hmm. saying. So right. the only one that's past expiration, right, is, yeah. You can kind of tell. But, you know, these, <laughs> these things, they put, they're just all preservatives anyway. So, I know, I know. Right? If it were an apocalypse and this was on the shelf in some abandoned store 10 years later. So I've never had a Twinkie with, like, that. Any comments? It's not mold or anything. No, right? I think it's like it looks chocolate, like chocolate or something but... from. Yeah. I'll take that one. The other one looks. I mean, we could just split the other one. I'm sure it's taste fine. Them. I'll eat it from the other side. Oh, there's there's some in the middle too. Okay, that's weird. So yeah, it's definitely like and chocolate. These, oh, look, see these? They only have one hole where they stuff the cream in. The hostess ones used to have, I think, oh. three holes, and they'd sh stick it from the ends, too. Oh, wow. Okay, so these probably won't be as cream-filled as the typical. Look, yeah, and they look like more pound cake-like. <laughs> Matt, so do you had birthday cake for lunch? Oh, yum. And you didn't invite us? It's not terrible. It's better than a regular Twinkie. It's just like cake with filling in the middle. Yeah. But do you want to see how much filling I got? I had a big bite of filling on the first bite, but it seems like there isn't any see, left. That's what I was saying. Hostess did more holes so they could really disperse the cream enough. Well, I ran out about halfway through. Yeah, I think that's not quite halfway. but Well, I'm going to okay. save room. Yeah. Just in case. We can always go back to those. Yeah. Or if anybody's in the neighborhood and wants to stop by for the leftovers. I'm cleaning my room, so James will James will. I love cleaning, so, so when you're, you have to be in the mood though. Right. Do a little extra cleaning for me. Or from me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was cleaning the kitchen. I literally cleaned for like three hours yesterday, like wiping down the so walls and what everything. Are the, what are these supposed to be full of? Oh, these are raspberry cream filled cakes. So they're probably the same thing, but have raspberry on the outside, do you think? Yeah, I think it's a raspberry cake. Versus oh, a vanilla it's, cake. Yeah. They just oh, oh, looks yeah, that, like there's a lot of icing. A lot of holes so where it's trying to get away. But what were you going to say about you think it's just raspberry on the outside, top? like a glaze? Mm. Or, there's definitely coconut in there. Oh, on the outside. That's why I said that. I thought that was coconut. It, it definitely is. But it doesn't say that it's raspberry coconut. It just says it's... I don't mind it. Maybe that's the dream part. It's not super sugary. I was expecting it to be super sugary. It's coconut. You thought it was sugar. Yeah. And I don't usually like coconut. Now, see, this has a better proportion of cream going through it, mm -hmm. too. I can taste the coconut now, though. Yeah. I don't see coconut on. It's a huge list of ingredients. It takes up the whole package. It says manufactured and shared where it contains tree nuts and peanuts, but. This definitely coconut, so. Oh, the, there's no questioning the, the texture of like mm. shredded coconut. So that was actually a lot better than I was expecting. Me too. Me too. Where are these actually made? Does it say what question. State? Georgia. Um, I will help Matt. <laughs> what did Matt say? I have to clean my bathroom when I get home. Anyone want to come help? <laughs> uh, see, we, we would, but we're really busy right now. <laughs> see, look. Hey, my thing is, I don't mind um, cleaning, like, a maintained bathroom. Yeah. You know, if it's just like if it, not some strangers, if it's your own bathroom, that, that or if yeah. it's you know like you know the said person cleans it every two weeks or something, and you're going in and you yeah. know wiping it's it a sweeper and yeah, yeah, it's not actually like cleaning gross, like buildup of soap scum. Yeah, you're not stuff. actually doing that. If it's just kind of maintenance work, that's that's yeah. fine with me. You know, so that's why. It's good to keep things up because then it doesn't get gross and you don't have to do the gross job. So I guess they haven't patented like their swirl or something because I've seen other companies do that. Now these are our expired ones, even though we just purchased them yesterday. So we're going to see how they 
I bet they don't taste any different. If we didn't get them yesterday, it was the day before. I think it was yeah. yesterday, though. And as I recall, Twinkies were one of those items that were kind of like, um, like the cheese puffs. Like you could put them in a time capsule and still open it up and eat them. <laughs> You're welcome to help me, Jaden. I have to clean a couple of toilets. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the cupcakes. Full display, as Meg does. <laughs> now, when I was a kid and had these, I haven't had one of these since I was a kid. So they used to have a good amount of cream in them. We'll see if they cheap out on us because I don't see a hole where it's sneaking out and you used to see it. But we used to always like pull the top frosting thing off first. Yeah, it used to be kind of so separate. Did, yeah. I, ne I didn't eat these a lot because you didn't really let no. me eat much junk I, as a kid. I didn't. And even as an adult. As an adult, I would buy more like a box of honey buns versus yeah. like one of these. But like, oh, but I do remember. Is. I do remember the white part was more separate on the hostess ones. It was. It was, it was a little more raised and yeah. a little more delicately done. Well, you know what you used to like too that I used to buy. Um, she used to like those oatmeal pies mm. and and the, the fudge chocolate. rounds. Go ahead and try that. Those are a little dummy. I don't think it's just because it's expired either. I think you copied my reaction. I even peeled, I think you didn't fully no, taste I, it. I even peeled this off. Yeah, I want to see what it tastes like without that. It's pretty bad. This one's pretty bad. Mine has a lot of cream in it, too. I mean, a nice portion. Mine's not. And yours doesn't seem to have as much, unless I just bit in deeper. And this is more of a... Um, it tastes more like a buttercream. The ones, yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm gonna put it back in this lovely little cup. Not worth the calories. Um, yeah, so um, Miss Freshly's. Yeah, you missed the mark on this one. Your yeah. fake hostess cakes were not it. Not it. You can no, put it yeah. here, she might not play. Right. The, um, oh, that was really bad. Yeah, hostess um, has a, a different, it's more of a sugary, lighter. Cream. That's yeah. more of a buttercream. That was just bad. Yeah, and I'm not blaming it on being two days past. And that's a sell-by date, I think, too. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's not because it's expired. Yeah. But we have high hopes for these two because these are also supposedly, you know, a collab, if you will, with like Hershey's and with Oreos. Yeah, so. too. That's another thing that we were talking about was... When you see a brand like in the dollar store that you've never heard of, sometimes you question it a little bit. Like some, when you see name brands at the dollar store, you're like, oh, like it must just be like a smaller portion. Exactly. We found that often that it's just, like Betty Crocker a lot of times have a little smaller package. <sighs> Excuse me. And, um, but anyway, so when you see like a brand that you're kind of questioning, but they're having a collaboration with a brand that you know. Yeah, then you figure maybe it's a little higher standard on It's a little more reassuring. So I want to save this for my grand taste test finale. Let's try that one. Okay. So this one I think is supposedly kind of like a, like a Swiss roll. Well, it says but Swiss roll. it's all chocolate. But chocolate inside, too. And so hopefully. It's going to be a lot. Yeah. It's going to be very rich. rich. Yeah. And, but hopefully they... um. Use the lighter cream inside, not the butter cream. Yeah. Oh, but look at the pretty pattern. Ooh, they are nice. Look, look at, at that. Pretty pattern on them. But, I like zebra cake. You know, when it says Hershey's, it could just be that drizzle part could be the Hershey's <laughs> chocolate or something. So I'm going to stick with the nuggets. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look. And, and these actually came right off the, um, oh, off the yeah. card. A lot of times, you know, it sticks to the card. I don't, it's very rare that you have a Swiss roll, especially this brand of ones. Yeah. That they come off the card. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's just because we're in Florida. If anything, you'd think it was warmer and they'd stick more. You know, melt to it. No? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, they melt to it. Yeah. Anyways. Bone apple tea. Mm -hmm. Well, it's really chocolatey. And the chocolate does taste like a little better quality, but I think it it's just- It tastes like a similar cake to that. 
is the, the problem. The cake part is, I probably not, have, just not, probably have the Hershey's in it. I'm guessing it's probably right. like the drizzle or something. It doesn't say, but and this really is their weird. Deluxe. I'm getting like, I'm getting like, Tootsie Roll aftertaste vibes. Okay, I stand corrected. I'm reading the package now. Double chocolate flavored cream. 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 But it says that the cake is made with Hershey's cocoa. Cake so the cake cream. part. And if you do see, it's kind of a lighter chocolate. The cake on this one. That, see how dark the chocolate is on that one? I'm a cupcake. Let me grab it. See how dark the chocolate cake is on that one? On yeah. The cupcake. Compared to the dark, to the lighter, because this I think is made it's with the cocoa. It's supposed to be like Hershey's. If you pull the little ledge piece off, <laughs> I know sometimes, remember as a kid, you dissect them? Yeah, let's do a little dissecting. Yeah, because these aren't really rolled that much. Right, it's kind of. Kind of just a fold over. Even, I guess the picture kind of shows it more of. It's a double fold. Yeah. And it is kind of flat, too. See how flat it is? It's not, like, as, you know, like, rounded up. I'm going to try the, the filling by itself. Okay. See, I think what it is, when you taste that by itself, it's not supposed to be, like, confectionery, sugary, like, like, light, sugary sweet. It's supposed to be, like, Hershey's Cocoa. Kind of thing. They're not. It's not saying like Hershey's chocolate. It's like Hershey's cocoa. Right. Like you make hot chocolate with hot cocoa. Like with yeah, cocoa. and that's a little more bitter. It is different. Yeah. Than, cocoa versus chocolate. That when you buy hot cocoa versus hot chocolate. When you taste just the filling, it tastes like a cocoa filling. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Yep. I think that's that. It's good. But I think that when you're thinking, oh, yeah, Hershey's chocolate, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, you're thinking more of a chocolate bar or a Hershey's Kiss or something. Yeah, it was more. Yeah. Um, I went to the shops, and there was Christmas stuff today. It's too early. I'm in the mood for Christmas. This year, I know. we're, we're, we're I don't know if any of you were here when we um, said we're going to be moving. We haven't picked our destination yet, but we're thinking it might be someplace cooler this year. Um, to have a little more of a traditional um, Christmas this year. Yeah, like we don't like the cold. Ooh, can I go your napkin? <laughs> we don't like the cold, but being in the heat year round because we're in Florida right now. Yeah, it's hard to get in the also, holiday spirit. Yeah, it's like we like being warm. Obviously, yeah. we like being able to go out in shorts at any time, you know, whatever. But it's also kind of a bummer during the holidays when it's. Yeah. Like when you're from up north. Yeah. Like it's really strange because up north on like Christmas Eve, I mean, everything closes by like three o'clock in the afternoon on Christmas Eve. I mean, everything, supermarkets, everything except for like a hospital or a hotel. And nothing is open on Christmas Day either, except for, you know, like hotels. And that's the only place you can usually find pretty much like a restaurant open would be in a hotel or something. And but down here, eight o'clock in the morning, and they're open all night on Christmas Eve, and then Christmas morning, bright and early, yeah, everything's when, open, everybody's out. People are at the beach. People when are I shopping. Worked, I worked at a chocolate shop um, a couple years ago here in Florida, and um, what am I doing? And um, yeah, what was it? I think every holiday that I that I worked for them, yeah, I only worked for them for like two or three weeks. <laughs> and happened because, to fall over the holidays. Because it ended up being poor management and stuff. But I worked, yeah, I worked like Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, like yeah, all the holidays. It was crazy. And we get like, it. Why Every, are we you open? Know, a lot of places have New Year's Eve open, but but Christmas, you know, all over New England, it is just that's just taboo. Yeah. Like they don't have like Black Friday does not start on Thanksgiving Day here. You know, up it, north it, it does, does here. here. Yeah, yeah, up north. Yeah, people get in line at you know three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning on, on Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, but not here. It's it's like you know the stores open. I think they do a delayed on Thanksgiving. I think they don't open till like twelve or one and start their Black Friday. 
But anyways, it's nice, like, if you live somewhere cold and you come here for the holidays yep. and stuff. But, like, I don't know. I like cocoa and bundling up. and, and, and I do like really nice sweaters, too. Yeah. I do. Yeah. So, anyways, on to the Oreo. Yeah. So, yeah, I know. So, we were out um, when we were getting all this stuff yesterday and stuff, too. And, and I agree. We were seeing already. I think we've seen some Christmas yeah, stuff. Yeah. They, they have... You know, um, all the school stuff is already, like, old hat, even though the kids have only been in school for a couple weeks. But now it's it's all Thanksgiving. I mean, there's even the Halloween. There are, Some places are already putting it on sale, Halloween. And it's like, Halloween's not for another month, over a month. And and then and they've got Thanksgiving out and Christmas. You're right. Right? Because when we were in um, Walmart, like, a week or two ago, they had already cleared out all those aisles, and remember, and they were already setting up. And this was weeks ago. I'm yeah. Like, it's like Labor Day weekend, guys. Really? So this, the brownie is good. Okay, so this has no cream or anything in it. This is just, what is this one called? It's just the Oreo brownie. Oreo brownie. It's not over the moon, crazy, super gourmet, whatever. But the brownie is good. The brownie. For a dollar. The brownie's good, but I'm the not Oreo. Where are the Oreo cookie pieces. So there's a very microscopic layer of cream, and then it's got Oreo crumbs stuck to the top. And it's like, but my you better get out your yeah your magnifying glass for that one because they're they're really stretching it. What do they say? Made with Oreo cookie pieces. I don't know, unless they crumbled them up the, and mixed them into the batter, too, and so you can't tell. But this would be really good, warmed up with, like, a la mode. I'm feeling that one. Look cream. Especially with a little Oreo ice cream. Yeah, you talking. <laughs> yeah, so that. So these cream. are all the new ones that we hadn't tried. These other ones that we do have here, we've certainly tried before. Um, so of the new ones, what would you say was your favorite? Definitely the Oreo. I had a feeling you were going to say that. I was surprised by how good the raspberry one was. Yep. And I was also surprised that I didn't hate the, the Twinkie, Twinkie knockoff. Yeah. Um, I think, um, sorry. I would say the, um, I liked only because I'm not a huge chocolate person. She's much more chocolate than I am. Um, I would say the raspberry was delight, but I like coconut, but they didn't overdo you liked it. The raspberry, I did, and I know you really don't like a lot of coconut. So for but her to say that it was, you know, good, is means that it wasn't an overpowering thing. Right. Yeah. But I still think they should have put it on the labeling. You know, that right. it should be like yeah. raspberry coconut, definitely, or something, because there's certainly enough <laughs> enough coconut. <laughs> <laughs> that that it should be recognized, you know. Yeah. Just saying. But um, yeah. So the Hershey's Swiss roll wasn't my fave, and and these are yeah. going right in the trash. Anyone yeah. want? I wish we could blame it on it being like past its sell by date, but I think that they're probably icky anytime. And they also had that which we did pass on. They had those cupcakes in like some kind of an orange. I'm so that, glad we yeah, didn't get that, them that now. Looked, yeah, that, I, I bet that was really gross, too. Yeah, there was an orange version of it. I was like, no mm. way. But Ooh, what, what's up, Richard? <laughs> what I learned from this, too, is we don't even think when we're there to look at the expiration dates. I know. We never think to look at the no, expiration dates at um, the dollar store. And we buy a bunch of stuff at the dollar, and, like food-wise. Yeah. We buy a bunch We of buy, stuff. like, these on a regular basis. Like, that's the next box I'm opening. <laughs> Excuse me. Did you think that sound was the box opening? But the date on here is, what is it, November 24th? Yeah. We usually always eat How about the dates on this? Let's check those. We usually always eat the stuff from the dollar store within a reasonable amount of time. Uh, same date? Oh, no, that's uh, October uh, October 24th. 10 is October. Oh, yeah. So, well, that one's 10 too. Oh, okay. So these are October 24th. So they're a month. This one's November 4th. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's over a month out. That's like a month and a half, and these are a month out. So, I mean, believe you me, these don't make it a week, never mind a month. Yeah, I've heard people say that something about, like, 
the Dollar Tree buys stuff that's close to expiration. That's already three months expired, but because it's still like within so long, the FDA still approves it and they just repackage and re stamp oh, an right. expiration date or something. I don't know if they can. It do seems that. like a stretch and a lot of work. Right. Like to repackage this brownie into another package and the labor and stuff, it's, I'm sure it's not worth it. Right. <clears throat> right. I could see where they were buying, you know, closer to the sell by date, and they, yeah, you know, and because Definitely. they do. I mean, when, whenever I mean, we go there all the time, people don't leave there with one thing unless they're there on their coffee break or something. And they run in and grab a soda and a, and a bag of something, right? But typically, I bet you the typical person that goes through that register spends at least ten dollars. If you go to your local Dollar Tree for our, my friends that are in America, if you go to your local Dollar Tree today. I can guarantee you the line will be long. I mean, maybe not Saturday. around. Yeah. Maybe not around five. Well, even probably around five. But on, on weekends, it tends to be busier. But And their hours, but, they always stay open late. Yeah. Every, every day we go to Dollar Tree and there's a lot of people there and the line's long. But it's because people buy like at least like 10 things when yeah. they're there, you know? So, but Dollar Tree is much different. Like we don't go to Dollar General. We don't go to Family Dollar. Those are not do like Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, everything truthfully is a dollar except for like they have really nice greeting cards, really good deal. You, know, you turn them over and they say Hallmark and they say like seven bucks on the back. Their cards are either two for a dollar or one dollar each. And you know, I mean, those don't expire. And I, think, <clears throat> I think the 99 cent stores are West Coast. Yeah. And, and we haven't shopped in those, so I can't Say for those, but yeah. and there we go to Dollar Tree. All the Dollar Trees are the same. Yep, whether we're up north, down south, and and I have to say, you know, you really get your dollars worth. You do, and but some Dollar Trees don't have the food stuff. Yeah, like about, and I don't know what ones do percentile wise and don't, but we've been to some that don't have it. And the ones that don't usually just have maybe like some chips and maybe some candy and stuff. But there's other ones like the one that's not that too far from a freezer section. That have refrigerated and freezer and they have, you know, butter and milk and eggs and, and everything's still a dollar. Out of all the different snack cakes, what's your favorite of all time? Oh. Out of all brands, all, all the cakes in all existence? Oh, boy. That You mean of like this kind, not, not like from... Like a specialty bakery or something. Right. He says, yeah. and it's snack cakes. Yeah, like snack cakes. Hmm. That is a very tough one. But I think, I think I've got an answer that will surprise you. Do you know? Do you know what yours is? No. Do you oh. know what yours is? Oh. I'm gonna say mine, and maybe it'll kind of okay trip yours. So I don't know what they're called. <laughs> But I Please know. Do describe it. But I yes, I'm going to in depth. Um, I think no, I think I know they're over in like the little Debbie's whatever section. Yeah. But they might be more of an up north thing, or it might have just been a kind that was more made when I was younger. They don't make them anymore. I haven't seen them in a long time. It's like it's like a it's <laughs> it's like a cake. Right, <laughs> but and it's like almost Oreo. Um, I think it comes in chocolate and vanilla, but it's like a chocolate cake with vanilla icing, and then it's got chocolate chips, and they're little squares. Oh, Little Debbie makes one like that. It, they might be Little Debbies. Little Debbie makes one like that. I want to say that those are probably one of the most memorable like yeah and they, they do they come in a chocolate and a vanilla version and they so. baby chocolate chips on the top yeah yeah little debbies um but i haven't I'm trying to think of the last time i saw those maybe a year ago maybe when we were doing that that haul on on your channel <clears throat> no we, we haven't gotten them in a long time oh no we didn't get them i'm not saying we got them but i think i might have oh, seen them oh oh yeah when we did that because they had like these ones i found them I, I found them i found them yeah, what do they call them? Apparently Walmart should have them. Yeah, see, they are little They're, Debbies, yeah. And that comes in a vanilla version, too. I think but, so. Yep. The chocolate chip. 
that's what they call it, the chocolate chip. Chocolate chip, yeah. Yeah, but they're little tiny. But you know what? See the box? Those are their deluxe ones. And so those aren't the like, bigger and well, the more expensive. Those right. are the upgraded like quality of their like chocolate and stuff. So those are probably that's probably like three dollars for that box of them. Right. Where, yeah. Where your typical little Debbie's box is like a dollar. Yeah, they were ones that you didn't let me get as often when right. I was a kid too. Because they're an extra they're dollar a box yeah. or something. Yeah, they are. I hope you guys. They the little Debbie's came out with that you know upgraded line. So if you want one that's a little more quality. That is probably one of my top favorites. See, so we all know she has good taste then because she goes for the deluxe. That, like, yeah, that was the first thing that came to my mind when I thought, well, what's my favorite little You snack? know what I thought you were going to say, which actually is kind of similar to that. Zebra cakes. I thought you were going to say the zebra cakes. That, that was a basic answer that I was going to go for, but I was like, no, let me step it up a notch. Yeah. And that's similar to their zebra cake. Kind, yeah, a little kind bit, of. But, but – like you said, it's a little more quality in the in the other one. Yeah, well, and two because it's it's a very good like chocolate cake, and they do a thick layer of the icing. It's not they skimpy do. like yeah. some of the other ones, and then it's like a glaze white chocolate yeah. around the edge. It's, it's not, not just like heavy, it's a nice, and it's not just like a vanilla glaze like would be on like the glazed donuts. Yeah. it's like a thicker like white chocolate like. Yeah, yeah they are. And then the the chips on top just make a whole different like. So Element. what I used to like, but I can What's honestly, up, Jade? Welcome back. <laughs> I can honestly say I haven't had in well, I'm not gonna say how many years because then you'll know we're a million years old. But in lots and lots of years, shall we say? And I don't even know if they still make them that way, but they used to make ring dings and they were individually wrapped in foil. Just one ding? One ding. <laughs> Ring and ding. They were in the box, and it was like a box, and you'd open it up, and there was all of these ring dings, but they were individually wrapped in foil. And they were really well made, and I don't know whether it was the foil. And the ring dings are like the sandwichy ones, right? Yeah, and then they're chocolate covered, and they're like a, a chocolate cake kind of. But you know what else? I actually, you know what I do? <laughs> I also like the devil dogs. I know you don't care for those, but I like See, the that, I you gotta like pull up pictures because yeah. sometimes all the names of them yeah. they get. You can pull up the ring ding. I don't know if anybody out there's had a ring ding. <laughs> Do they still wrap the foil? And I think part of it, you you know. Oh, like, these. Yeah. They're made by. Hostess. See, I was thinking. I think I was thinking more. Of, oh no, they're made by Drake's. Oh. Oh okay. oh, Hostess and Drake's. And but they were individually wrapped in foil. And I think part of the whole thing was, if you had one, I don't know if you guys ever did this when you were a kid, but I stopped doing it when I was 12 because I got braces then. But ratings, we used to take the foil. But you know what? They used to um, have their Swiss rolls, too, that were in, they were individually wrapped in foil, too. And you could take the foil, and, and we used to put them on our yeah, teeth. This is what I thought. This is what I pictured when the you devil said dog. Yes. Things. Oh. This is devil dogs. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just giving everyone the visual. And see, they've really changed up their portions, though, like on, like, cream to cake. And, and, and I don't know whether, like, they use a different type of flour or what's going on, but... Or if it's just you remember things as a kid differently, yeah. you know, like you remember it. Well, that's what I we didn't have them all the time. Well, that's what I heard something on like a podcast or something not too long ago, and it was like we used to enjoy stuff a lot more when we were kids because we had a treat. Well, and because we hadn't tried all the other things, like I've you didn't tried have to compare it to. Right, like I've tried a hundred different mac and cheeses in my life now versus when I was four. Yeah, and so when I was four, that mac and cheese was the best mac and cheese I'd ever had. That's right, because it was like one of the only ones you had. And so now that I've had, you know, big mac and cheese from a restaurant, now the same craft, it's it's still the same in my heart. I, I love the it. One in the box. I love it just the same, but just for story's sake, it's not as good because you know, right? But so, I mean, back then, um, we didn't have the Chick Fil A's. And so many options, and like KFC didn't make mac and cheese back then. Right. And and that's you know, it was like you had one mac and cheese and you had one and, right. and stuff yeah so yeah. I mean you go out for chicken Kentucky Fried Chicken you don't get mac and cheese with it forty years ago that wasn't a thing 
you know, I wouldn't be getting Kentucky Fried Chicken then. No, but I mean, so things have changed so much. And I mean, now, I mean, there's like so many fast food places. And even like when I was a little kid and we would go like, say on a family road trip. I mean, if you went on a road trip on the highway, the only place to stop and stay was a Howard Johnson's. And you can be guaranteed it had an orange roof, <laughs> you know? And now there's like, Every okay, hotel. do we go to the days in? Do we go to the sleep in? The do we go to the days in? Do yeah. we go to the, and, and the then, sleep tight? The and then after that, then there's so many ways to book it. And then there's I know. Also, do we go in? Do we just walk in and book it? Do we call? Do, do, do we, we do it online? Do we find an app? Do we? Yeah. And then and, and then on top of all the hotels and everything, now there's Airbnb. And there's, you know, so there's so many um, other options. Good one. Speaking of which, Richard asked what the orange things I'm throwing at Tatum are. Oh. They're goldfish, and it just hit the ring light and bounced back. Yeah. What are the odds of all? I know. No basket. No points on that one. So we realize that Tatum has been barking a bit too much in the live streams, and it, it kills me because, like, I know this room echoes already. It's not this room. It's, like, right here. Yeah. Our living room and it's dining all a big room. room. Yeah, and so it's set up kind of weird that we have furniture in the room, but it doesn't sound like it. But it's like because the dining room and the kitchen uh, like like let me show you. Maybe in our new place we'll it's have like acoustics. wall. Yeah. Wall like next to right where we're talking. And so I think bounces. I think even if we like had I mean we have some stuff on the ground right here to attempt yeah. to absorb it. But I think even if we put like a big sofa right here or something, it would still echo because it's just this weird Yeah, because we don't get that echo like when we do it in the car or, no. or yeah. And so or out of the balcony. And so um so I know her barks are even worse on live stream. And like yeah. if you guys are watching it and not expecting it. Just all of a sudden, a yip from her, like with the echo, is like. Yeah, so we just started this new thing. We thought we would try letting her go fishing while we're eating. <laughs> because, usually, <laughs> we're doing it. because usually she'll start to make like a little bit of noise under the table before she barks. Yeah, so we know it's coming. Yeah, and so when she starts to make a little noise, I just throw a goldfish. She goes and chases it, and she's good for a few minutes because she's like, I got a goldfish. Look at me. And she loves gold. Um, I've always been a sucker for any snack cake with cream in the middle. It's a weakness of mine. But these are really good. We get these. We've been getting these for quite a while, and they come and there's like four sleeves, I think, in it, and they each have like four donuts in it. Yeah, sixteen. And, donuts. Oh yeah, four sleeves, four donuts, right? <laughs> Richard said, "Well, she's been very quiet and well behaved today." Yes, we're working on goldfish training. <laughs> Because, too, she doesn't beg when we're just eating. No. It's, I think we've said this like a hundred times it's, it's in live streams. She knows someone else is getting our attention. She, yeah, she knows that we're, like, when we're sitting, if we were sitting here quietly and, and there could be a bunch of food on the table, she would be off doing whatever because yeah. she knows we're just, like, sitting here, like, whatever. But because she knows and, like, she hears the excitement in our voices and yeah. we're laughing and whatever – she knows and she gets jealous and so she wants attention and stuff. And so it's not that like she's being poorly behaved and it's not like we need to train something out of her. We just need to get a Kong, honestly, for her to keep her busy. I and know. we keep forgetting and keep forgetting and keep forgetting. So goldfish are the... Yeah, but we will. We got to get her another Kong. I think that'll... Yeah. That'll be the real Just stick a little solution. peanut butter in it and she'll be good. Yeah. Something to keep her focused so that she doesn't get mad that our attention isn't on her. Yeah. And, like, even that, though, she's not an attention hog. Like, I can be laying in my room editing or whatever for a while, and she'll leave me alone. Like, she yeah. won't. But there does come a point that she'll come up to me and be like, hey. Cuddle me. We're playing. Yeah. We're doing something. What's up? Like, so. So, yeah. Anyways. I'm too full to even. I know, I know. I thought I was gonna be, but what happened? We had a late lunch. Yeah. So I made, but I can say though, absolutely. If you see these, 
I mean, for a dollar, where can you get 16 donuts for a dollar? Just saying. But they are really good. <laughs> We've used these on road trips, too. Mm -hmm. They're a great snack. <laughs> We've <laughs> used these on road trips. Yeah, but, like, they have a good amount of sugar on them, but for some reason, the sugar doesn't usually go everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. It's um, a little different sugar yeah. than your average powdered donut, but they're good. And these, these are good. These she really likes. I'm not a huge honey bun person. I don't know why. She doesn't like the name brand ones either, though. No, no, it's not just that. One. I mean, they're okay. I'll eat it, but I, I mean, actually, I like them better if you actually nuke them for about 15 seconds. Oh my gosh, I never noticed on the back. Oh. Oh my god, on the oh. back picture on they're all promoting of them, those cupcakes. They're promoting. Oh. The nasty cakes. The nasty cakes. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Hey, are those crunchy donuts? I like the they, crunchy donuts. Yeah, like this, the the coffee kind of. Like, kind of yeah. Donut. We'll have to look for the those. Crumble donuts. And now about their Swiss rolls. We've been buying them for a long time. They're good, but they're not the same quality as like the Hostess. Like the chocolate quality. Even the little Debbie. Uh, yeah, even the little Debbie's better than these. Yeah. Yeah. They they're they're good. They're fine. But but, but the they're a dollar. <laughs> well, the Swiss Miss or Little Debbie, whatever brand it is, you can get the name brand ones at the grocery store for like what is it like a dollar eighty or something? Mm -hmm. Aren't they like for um for a box? Yeah, it's like a uh, dollar seventy nine. So, so for little, the, name brand the little Debbie's uh, uh, little Debbie's box of of um Swiss rolls is a dollar ninety nine. Yeah, and um, Hostess I think is like two ninety nine. Yeah, um, but. You know, I mean, you get what you pay for. Yeah. And and we're paying a dollar. So. <laughs> um, the paint in your living room is exactly the same color as my room. We have good taste. It was this color when we moved in. <laughs> but, but we'll take credit. We'll take but, credit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good taste. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think I think that's it for today because I can't eat anymore. Yeah. We're going to be on tomorrow morning. Live show tomorrow. For what? <laughs> tomorrow is... National um, Coffee Day. Oh, right. Right, right, uh, right. Uh, and tomorrow's right. National Coffee Day, so we okay. are going to have coffee with you tomorrow. Coffee. 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 Tomorrow. Um, and, and before Tatum barks again, we'll see you then. <laughs> there it is. Okay. <laughs> uh, where's the end button? Okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>